Hello and welcome to, I believe it is day 11 of the Daily Death Cells Challenge. Oh dear. Um, okay, so after yesterday's um, rather depressing topic of choice, today I'm going to be a little bit more um, uplifting, I think. Mostly because I'm just very tired. Um, I had a very exhausting day today. It was a good day though, like I had a fun day. Um, I had an outing with my parents to Costco, which was, by the way, absolutely not a chaos. Um, I think generally Costco is chaos, but like, it's never been like coming the maximum Costco, but there was so many freaking people. It's Australia Day, there's like so many people like wanting to shop and um, buy food stuff. And I guess like there were a lot of like extended families like coming around and stuff as usually happens like during public holidays and things. So, you know, there's people that's like busy. And it was like it was just so chaotic and it was so hot as well. Um it really doesn't help matters. Like it's still swelteringly hot right now. Um and it's been raining and I am dying. I am seriously dying a little bit of like pudding. Um that's just like that's just me being dramatic but like honestly it is so incredibly hot right now um i honestly i don't know what i would be doing without air conditioning um probably like sweating to death i've had like two showers already I, i'm not really sure if i can like stand to have any more a skin one like that would be very nice um so it's just, it's been horrible today, like it's absolutely horrible. It's humid and it's hot, so it's like the worst of the combination. I don't mind heat, I like it, that's a good thing, I hate heat. Um, but I don't mind dry heat as much, like I can deal with dry heat. Dry heat is just annoying but it's not impossible to deal with. Um, but this sort of heat is definitely painful and I don't like it at all oh god I'm surrounded at both sides from like enemies that I really have difficult dealing with uh, mostly because it's short guys oh god damn it you mother you know what no I'm not going to restart oh I really want to restart but that's the rule I've got with these runs there's no restarting these runs Normally I would restart because I've lost access to both doors now um, and that just makes me so difficult. Um, but I won't restart because that's the rule and I'm not going to be going ahead and breaking my own fucking rules within like the first two minutes of the play. Um, God damn. But it's okay, I can make it to um, at least one of the other doors if I go to the... Um, the promenade of the condemned, I think, maybe. But I do actually, so I do want to fully explore all of the map this time. I can say that, if I will. Um, because I've now I've got the spider room, so there's I've got more access to um, areas that I haven't been able to explore properly before. So I do need to um, go to like some different zones and stuff. So I'll do that. I won't make any of the time doors, um, but that's like nothing new. I'm still not going to use the shield because I still haven't figured it out. Um, I haven't actually been playing um, this in my own time for a little bit because I've been um, playing Papers, Please um, a lot. Papers, Please has been um, both an absolute challenge um, and a lot of fun. I finished the first part of the script which is like basically just going over the... Um, Getting over like going over what the game is about and things like that. I still haven't gotten anywhere close to being able to do the rest of the um, bit, so I need to work on that. Um, so I I'm sure I was going to go um, sort of like overall, but then I realized that as the analysis was going on, that um, it would be actually easier to like do it sort of um, in. Like to a certain extent by day by day sort of breakdown but there's like 31 days and there's some days where nothing really happens so i won't have to do it all the way but there will definitely be some of it um so i'm on my third playthrough um almost like a fourth actually but most i would say third 
I wanna go for a melee run. I'm gonna do a melee run. I have no weapons to choose from at this point anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, so I'm gonna... Promenade of the Condemned. The reason I'm coming here is for um, a couple of reasons. There is actually a couple of blueprints I can get now that I actually have um, the um, the setup that I need for that. So I'm gonna go and do that first. Um, let's focus on that. So one of the blueprints is up here. Um, where you can get the Assassin's Dagger blueprint um, by coming up. You can only climb that through that. The um, having the how come I open the first one with this one? So the rose keys. So the garden keys are useful in a few ways. You can actually do um, you need them to do open a couple of different doors. So the, obviously the first one we're going to open is um, the the ones down here, and then um, later on I'll focus on opening the other doors, but not for now. Now I'm focusing on just opening the doors to this level. So there's um, doors I can use to uh, gain access to um, another blueprint. So there's a couple of new blueprints to be had on this level alone. So I'm going to be doing that. So I'm going to take it nice and slow. I'm not going to rush. I'm going to need to rush anyway. Because I'm not going for any other time doors. It's actually the first time door that's the hardest. Um, the rest of the time doors are not actually that difficult. So, oh god, how many of the freaking things are there? Waiting for the game to update. Um, well, I'm wait. I'm hoping the game won't update. Let's be honest. Um, for the Switch, because I do want to keep the Switch version of the game that I've got um, at its original high difficulty level. Oh god, I don't want to go down here. Just because I don't trust my ability not to get spikes. I do apologize I'm taking this very very slow, but I've got I need to at least make one of the time um, the doors so that I can actually have a chance of doing this thing. So I do want to be careful. Um, um up here? No. So this is what I'm talking about. So this requires like three of the gardener keys. Um so I need to be able to get that blueprint. That's I think for the explosive bow, I wanna say. It's a cool bow, the gardener. Oh crap. Fuck you and your puppet protection thing, Majiggy. Where's the puppet? Screw you. Um, it's just so much easier when I can have access to at least one of the time doors, if not more. Um, so I wanna. Since I've lost the um, first two time doors, I uh, so to the doors, I want to at least get access to um, the 61 in this level. Uh, I'm not, I don't want to try to make it for the eight. Oh, fuck it. Screw it. Screw everything. Uh, I should play more Dead Cells. New Year's resolution. Beat Dead Cells on full cell mode. I am never going to finish this year. I should live in the past. That's how I'm gonna get through it. Um, you know, I've got better. I've got more important New Year's resolutions to know, than um, video game related stuff. I do want to finish more games though. That is definitely it. Um, that's definitely in. And I actually do want to play more games on my Xbox because I haven't done a lot of that. Uh, my gamer score thingy Majiggy is horrible. Not that I think it, like, that actually makes a difference. <laughs> I'm not sure about the whole gamer score thing. Doesn't matter. I don't know. Um, I have been put, told that I was a noob because of my game st um, score from, from a few people, so maybe it does matter. Um, I don't know. Um, I've never kind of been big on like s 
stuff like that though, but I do want to get like more achievements and stuff. So we'll probably work on that eventually. Lady, young woman, prisoner 6541, she's clutching something in her hand. I know, she always has an amulet. She usually uses this amulet. Um, I will take the cursed treasure chest because I honestly need just some goodies right now. Yeah, no. Um, I will take the red, I will take the ice grenade. Yeah, I'll take the ice grenade. And I'll take the chest. Oh god, first thing I see after I take the fucking cursed chest is like the one enemy I have issues with. It's a teleportation issue. Oh, three and one. Screw you, man. And screw you too. Yeah. And you, apparently. Okay, curse is being fucking lifted. And I will. Okay. Um, I've got two of the keys. No, I've got only one of the keys. Um, I now need to find a rose that's kind of like sitting... There we go. That's a rose. If you slam down on this rose that you find, it spits you out a key. The other one is a slam on the ground thing, so I need to find a... Um, yeah. I honestly don't care about the getting hit thing, so fine. But I need to find the slam on the ground thing, and then it gives you access to um, a level. What does that? Okay, come over here and die, please. Um, where is it? Normally, I don't think I come this far without getting access to a key. Um, oh god. What is up with your true like trap man? Come on. It's not reasonable. There we go, there's a third key. You can't get back up using without using this teleporter thing, so that's a little bit annoying, but whatever. Um what's on this one down? Oh this is this is going towards another level, I think, you know? No, treasure chest. Treasure! Ooh, another in Oh no! God damn it. Um, did not mean to do that. Oh, oops. Did not mean to do that either. I just wanted a new impaler. And then to use it on someone. Um. Uh, okay. I do need to take a teleport eventually to go back to where I was before, but for now, um, I think this one goes to the prison depths. Which is a, a level we haven't been to for this reason. It's only access to through this. And we haven't had access to it. So. Um, okay. So, uh, ooh, walls can be scratched. I always love these secrets because they sometimes like give you like really cool items or they give you health when you need it. Um, there's actually a amulet that reveals all of the hidden locations, but honestly, if you ever get that amulet, just ignore it. It's like the worst amulet to have. It's completely useless. Yeah, unless it's like the first amulet you pick up, or unless it gives you other places that you need at that point. So the prison death. So we'll probably come back this way, but for now, we need to go and unlock... What's here? I missed something there. That little square. Now I'm curious. But that's not the point. Let's come here and open all these goddamn doors so I can have one little blueprint. So after you open it for the first time, you actually don't really need it um, to do anything else because the um, keys can be used to unlock something else. But to get that, you need to be activating one cell mode um, or two cell mode or something like that, I think. Uh, which I haven't been able to do in my normal run with like a lot more things unlocked than this one, so I'm not even thinking I can do that at all, so it's fine. Um, I'll worry about all of that stuff a little bit later, I think. Ready? So this run, I guess I'll just make it like a completely self epic run, I'm not even trying to get to the boss. Um, I think like generally when people get very obsessive about stats, um, they refuse to like re-roll, um, once they've reached certain points because they don't want to ruin their stats by going back and so forth but I don't honestly care. Uh, my 
normal runs, um, until I realised that I could actually make a custom load thing, um, actually the run rate is horrible, because I normally just don't make it to the boss. Um, I also don't know what's going on with my air conditioning, but it keeps turning itself off and it's getting my head in, so um, I'm going to turn it back on because it's really, really hot. Um, Okay, buddy, because otherwise, yo, I'm going to die. Okay, that's been really dramatic, but it is incredibly hard. Okay, so two blueprints and it. Oh, I need to just burn my cells. Give me more gold! Money, money, money! Thinks it's funny in the rich man's world. Okay, it's not really that good. Um, I will take anything at the moment because I don't really mind. Do I need the skill thingies? I'll take that for now. I do want to pick up another grenade, that would be nice. Um, the prison depths might have something to offer. I'm not very good at this prison depths level, by the way. I don't think I've been all that often, so... Um... Actually, what level am I good at? <laughs> Never mind. But um, this is a really annoying level. Here's these guys. Oh my goodness, how many people are down here? I love that you can kind of like kneel and shoot those um, enemies and stuff. I do like the versatility um, of movement in this game. Oh, whatever. Not even trying now. Girl just wants to get through. I have a oh, wait, one more grenade. I should have the grenade. This is a good grenade. My bad. Give me all your cells and your amulets and um, oh, let's, don't forget to recycle. Money is good. Oh god. Okay, so this is like the level that has those stupid thingies. I forgot about them. These guys. These guys that like creates the um, mist thingy and then it absolutely murders you because you can't see what's coming. Um, come here. Yes, well, thank you. So you end up like going into um like sometimes they're positioned in such a way that they really have to find you. Like you can really like that. Um so so really really hard to see. So like sometimes you you know that they're like there and then you go, okay, I need to get to them. How the freaking hell am I gonna get to them? Other times you just can't see them. And you're just like, I don't know what's happening, I don't know what's going on. And I've like died before I've even realized that I've died. It's actually very sad when that happens. Um, okay, what's this little hole? It's a hole with Hudson that I don't really want. But it's better than nothing, so I'll recycle it again. I don't, I want a grenade, man. Give me a grenade. You, you spit out grenades. Oh, it also spits out these fly things. I forgot about that. God damn it. This is why I hate this level. I completely forgot, and now I'm regretting it. But like, you know, it's a new biome, we haven't seen it before, so I might as well show it. Even if I'm like, gonna die here. My chances of dying is actually quite high in this level. Uh, even with like, full um, health enemies. Like sometimes what I've, what's ended up happening in this level in particular, to me, is that I'll find that I'm fine, and then I'll end up in like going into an area where there's just, like too many of these um the rushy teleporty guys, and then I'm, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm gone. Oh god, who created this maze? Who's the architect? What the freaking oh god. Um, 
and then there's a traps, and then I get like forget to like check my health, and then I get confused, and then I die. Oh, thank God! Finally, I've needed that stupid um thingy for ages. The frozen blast. Okay, so th this is the thing. If you're using a melee weapon, you want to have a frozen blast. Because half of the time, if you're using an ice arrow. Um, by the time you actually make it to your enemy to be able to murderize them with your um, melee weapon, they've already defrosted, man. Like, they're gone. So you want to be able to um, use a frost blast, which is a lot more close range, to freeze them in place, kill them, and then um, you're done. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, okay, so I picked up another grenade. The infantry grenade has, like, really shit damage, but super, super fast regen. Um, Reduce time or whatever. Okay, now. Oh god. Oh god. This is what I meant about the um the thingy guys, the freaking um ghosty guys. Um so generally priority is to find the ghosty guys, murderize them, and then worry about anyone else. Um even if that means you just have to like ignore enemies or um just run through the damages. Um damages. The damaging things and always freeze these guys if possible because they spit out the worst things imaginable. Uh, this is what I meant about potentially dying on this level. Besides, they're being stupid. Um, it's very much a possibility in this level, like rushing in this level is not recommended. But then at the same time, whenever I see the bomb guys, I do feel compelled to rush because I do want them dead before um, they drop any bombs on me. I really love the spider room. Like, it literally changed up the gameplay. And it's just fun to use because you're just like jumping around everywhere. And it makes you feel like Spider Man. So I really like it. Oh god. Come on, Aircon. Do your thing. Keep me from dying. I don't care how much electricity you eat up at this point. Um. I thought I should chop it down. No, 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 you freeze. You for the freeze. Freeze. Bombs are fine, but don't drop your friends on me. And there we go. Oh, that goes to the ossuary. I'm not ready to go yet. I still want to do a little bit more exploration. more damage if they're like against the wall but um I don't think that this one is actually doing more damage. Uh, so because the spider rune allows you to kind of scale walls and stuff you have a lot more freedom of movement. Yeah screw it I am not going to do a shuri cursed. That is not happening. And if I'm cursed in this level um my chances of dying is like really really high so let's not do that shall we? And same with Oshiri. Um, I just looked dying at the Oshiri. So, let's go to the Oshiri, shall we? Did they burn all the bones? Okay, so I do like the grim sort of atmosphere of the Oshiri. I reckon it's quite cool. Um, I have like the worst weapons imaginable to so get through this, but whatever. Um, you can't always have everything. Um, hmm, I'm gonna take the more damage with enemies nearby because I am going for a melee build. I don't know why, like when I first started this game, tactics was it all the way and I, all I did was drop traps everywhere. Um, and that's kind of like, I found that to be fun. And I still do on my Switch version. But in this um, version on the PC, I do find that I do quite like the melee uh, options. And I think it's because um, the um, zero cell mode is actually easier on this, this mode. So in my um, Switch version, even though I've played it for so long, I still haven't managed to get past um, basically the initial... Freeze! Freeze, motherfucker! Ooh, no, freeze! Or I'll stab you? That doesn't quite work with the impaler. Ah! 
No, no electricity. No, thank you. Um, it's actually been. This one hasn't been terrible. Oh, I could take the boat. No, that would get rid of most of my. Um, because the infantry boat is the only boat that I'm aware of that has like the purple and the um, red. Um, and it's actually quite good if I still want to use a bow and I still, and, but at the same time I want to do um, melee sort of stuff with like grenades and stuff. I do find it good because you do more damage when you're close by. So it's actually quite easy to use. Um, I didn't, I guess one of my attacky thing is releasing the fighters. Um, so these guys, right? So these guys you need to kill from the front. Otherwise the spikes will murder you. Uh, yeah, I was gonna go and impale around, but like screw it. Um, as slow as the um, symmetrical thingy magic is. It's still, like, it's, look, it's a colorless weapon, it's a gold, I'm going to take it. Especially when I have a melee gun already. Just make sure. Um, on the third strike it does um, crucial damage. It also has a very wide um, range of attack. So, this is the um, spear thingy Majigi that we got from um, killing the Hand of the King for the first time. It's his um, standard weapon. And I swear he does a lot more damage with it to us than we do to him, which is very, very annoying. Um, so, with this little guy, the porcupine guy, if you attack him from the front, actually... Oh god. I was playing pretty well there. I was quite proud of myself after that moment. I did not realise that was also there. And I should have just watched my timing and backed away, but I didn't. So it's cool. So if you're ever coming um, to watch me play Dead Cells, for like an expert, um, you know, someone who actually knows how to play the game, or like, to get some inspiration on how to play the game, you're in literally the wrong place. So I'm turning the aircon on again, because it's also turned itself off again. Um, I don't know whether there's like an electricity problem or I'm just, I don't know what it's doing, but it's not cooling me down and I just, I don't know how I'm going to sleep to be honest, um, because it's actually that hot that just sitting in my room right now, I am sweating. Um, I've had a lot of showers already as I said, I'm too tired to get another shower. And my risk of falling at this point is really high. Because the more tired I am, obviously the shitty my balance and everything is. But you know what? Not great. It's rude. I still prefer the symmetrical swordy thingy than the nutcracker. As fun as the name of nutcracker is, I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, right here. I do have to watch my frost mask because I only have limited time ammo on it. But I always forget that because in the um, Switch version or the older version of the game, it didn't have that. So I'm still used to thinking I have infinite ammo and stuff like that. But, uh, but I just need to remember the other board with I have to say, I'm a little bit more, um, wow, um, yesterday I was a little bit more thoughtful, um, I guess that was the kind of mood I was in, today I'm a bit more playful, I guess, um, today I'm feeling, despite being really, really tired and sweaty and, um, a bit irritated as a result, um, but that's just, like, pretty much anyone when they're, it's hot is irritated, that's just a fact of life. Um, 
Just like most of us are irritated when we're hungry. Hangry is a thing. That's what I'm saying. Uh, my mom is hungry. Like, she gets hangry but yeah. Because she has low blood pressure, so she's actually genuinely not well when she's um, hungry. So, it's actually very important. Make sure she's fed. Uh, oh god, come on. Come on, you can do this. I do like this, um, thing is it points out the little, um, sluggy looking things. I think it's a cute, um, monster monster. Um, actually, to be honest, I like most of the enemy designs in this game. The only enemy design I don't like is the light blue and um, pink sluggy thingy that like bite you and then throw bombs everywhere. But that might just be because when I first started playing the game, I died a lot to it. So there's a bit of a grudge that we have there, maybe. Um... The thing about this level that I'm not a huge fan of is that this one has all these elevators and stuff and they can be quite annoying. Okay. Going invisible? What the? That's not fair. Going invisible should be against the goddamn rules. Uh, no, I'm not going to take that. I already have an amulet that does exactly the same thing or very similar. Um, so I don't need two of that. But I will take the extra souls. You know what? Screw you, Ice Grenade. Um, I'm going to take Infantry Grenade. And I'm going to the Cyclone instead. Uh, because the Ice Grenade, like I've got a Frost Blast that does basically the same thing as the Ice Grenade. And it does a better job, so... I will take that. Oh. I honestly have no idea how I'm going to cope with this today today, or what night. I slept so much. Um, I, I slept a lot during the day, um, so like obviously the morning and stuff. And then um, I had my nap at my parents. Now I'm like, at least I'm not tired. Actually, no, that might be bad. Maybe if I was tired, I could sleep even if it's hard. But traditionally, I'm not good at that. Um, oh my god! Dude, no! No, Spiky Ball! I guess, I'm, I swear his inspiration was like Sonic. It feels very much like that. Um, I'll give him a HP this. Oh no, I should have taken the purple because I've got the frost. I'm an idiot. Uh, no, no, it's too much of a water fly. Not so it feels like this character is doing parkour. I like him. And I, I do adore the fact that even though it's a different dead body we're stealing each time, technically, um, we seem to have exactly the same clothes on. Maybe it's the prison now. You know, for a run that I thought was disastrous because I've lost all of the doors, it's actually not going to be It's not very fantastic either, but it's not that terrible. Um, I will go to wherever this is. Right, a new impaler. But it's not going to be better than uh, my... Yeah, it's not going to be better than my symmetrical lens. Because the symmetrical lens is always going to be good. I mean, not the symmetrical lens stuff is always going to be good, it's because I have a gold version of it, it's always going to be good. Alright, buddy, that time you die. But that was a lot of enemies congregated in one little area. Like, if I had gone into that without seeing them before, that would have been a death, death zone. Oh, hello. RB. Message left in the storeroom. What, soldiers leaving little notes for each other? The bodies are piling up endlessly, burning them is no longer good enough. Some get back up, and others even manage to get their hands on weapons. We have to dis leave this island while we still can. Right to go. Um, is there somewhere we can go up? Usually it is. Okay, fine. I guess there's no other secret, like, weapons left in there. Frozen Blast! Frozen Blast! Stop stunning me, you- Oh god. There we go. Uh, 
There we go. Whoops. Oh, okay. This is what you still are not. Oh no. It's actually really annoying because I set my program um, for the editing program. So I've obviously recorded another episode of AC uh, because I'm being a good girl. Um, I set the program to do nothing when um, the video is done rendering. But it still like sometimes flips back um, to the program and then it interrupts the gameplay here. So it's really annoying. But I have checked, you guys don't get to see it, so that's good at least. Um, but anyway, I think we're actually done for this particular level. We're about to go to the Black Bridge. I think it's the only exit out of here, is the Black Bridge. Yeah, let's go to the Black Bridge. Um, there we go. Which means we have to fight the... Um, what do we call it? The concierge. Uh, I don't know how many times we've actually fought him on this uh, thing. So for the first five times you kill him, you get a new um, weapon. So new, sorry, blueprint. So you do want to kill him consistently. Um, and same thing with all of the other bosses, I think. The only one you don't get that is with the Hand of the King. Because he's supposed to give you the cells. Um, but obviously I haven't been good enough to get there all the time, so... No sales for me. Well, hello, Mr. Concierge. It's been a while. Already failed the challenge of not getting damaged. But hey, it's taking on a lot of damage, so it's okay. Um, I'm not gonna die to you now, so it's fine. It's actually quite cool when you get to a point where you're like, I have to get through the bosses. You don't need to punch the damage bullshit, and it's still very funny. Oh no, I think we've killed him enough that we don't get a blueprint for him anymore. How disappointing. But, kinda cool, because that took me forever to do my first try. Like, first day to me. Okay, I'll put all of that in here. Um, it actually is actually super nice because on my normal run, I've got that um, thing set up so that I always get plus one um, in all of my weaponry. It's actually quite nice. Um, I haven't gone to this just village in a little bit. No, actually, we haven't gone through the slumbering sanctuary this way, so let's do that. So anyway. But anyway, I think I'm going to end it here though because um, the video's gone on for long enough. Um, well. I'm saying long enough in terms of, um, it's gotta be, like, I would imagine that it would be boring for someone to watch this. I don't know why I'm making a video of it, because if I think it's boring I shouldn't make it. But at the same time, as I said, I'm making these as like a record for myself, so it works in those terms. But anyway, I hope you enjoy, if you do enjoy them. Um, I hope you'll come back for more, but most of all, as always, I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Mwah!